Um, some of you have been asking if um, if uh, we were able to provide emails, if you had any questions, or if you wanted to connect with the speakers. Uh, uh, by GDPR law, uh, British law, we can't um, publish emails in the booklet, so I wasn't able to do that. But um, I will ask permission from all the speakers, and then I can email out uh, whoever wants that information. Good afternoon, I am Carlito Kamahalan Malia. I'm going to discuss about Manubo textile art and design. Okay, as uh, so we can see here, we have here the map of Agusa del Norte and Agusa del Sur. Um, below, for the Agusa del Norte, they're going to focus on the innovation. Well, the Agusa del Sur focus on the tradition, especially in waving. We call this one the suyang. Okay? As we can see here, I have here my drawing. It looks like a bag accessory. It is made of beads. On the other side, we can see here the Agusa del Norte, more on the um, lowland. While the Agusa del Sur, we can see here about the watershed, at the same time, the mountain. On the other side, we can see here the, the Plenty of the Visaya speaking, while on the Busan del Sur, there are plenty of the Manubo. As you can see on the right side, uh, left side, more on the innovation, creation, while on the other side, this is more on the tradition, using the Abaca. Well, on the lower ground, because in Mindanao, especially in Butuan, there is an iconic boat, we call this one the Balanghai. That's why you can see here the Balanghai, and then I wrote my, my, my master thesis, Luyam to Agusa Nanobo, Tradisyon at Innovasyon sa Sining ng Pagbuburda. And then, as you can see, there is an, um, an ornament. This is made of the, the teeth of the crocodile. This is the symbol of our good luck. At the same time, we call this one the amulets. Thank you. Okay, uh, this is what we call the suyam. In Agusa Nanobo, suyam means the art of embroidery. Thank you. Okay, uh, this research is to examine the relationship of clothing, craftsmanship, design, material, and color, and the social realms of the Mundanbo tribe from Mindanao. It brings to the forefront the Manubu women, waivers, and their unique craftsmanship in bringing to life cultural stories through the art of textile weaving as it involves over time. To make the story short, um, the embroidery that we have, it tells about the story. Uh, it talks about the narrative, especially here, the waivers, especially our women waivers. Okay, uh, it passed from generation to generation. As you can see here, uh, time immemorial, the Manubo, it, they are naked. They are, you can see here the, what we call the tattoo. The tattoo for us, we call it patik or pangutob. This is the ancient time. Okay, um, when, during the time of, um, of the ancient Manubo, we're going to use the called abaca, a technique of ikat. And then you know what? Abaca is the Philippines, the producer of abaca because this is very good for the environment. That's why, if you can see the textile that we have, we promote here about organic materials. Okay, as you can see here, uh, the Manubo shape thing. Before we have no dress, it is naked. Then you can see here the tattoo. Then during the time of okay, this is uh, the bai. Bai means the manubo shape thing. As you can see here, the garment on the upper side we call this an umpa, and the lower side this is made of abaca. The tiger technique we call this one sawal. As you can see, the more if you have plenty of tattoo, the more if you have plenty of accessories or embroidery you belong to a higher class. Okay, as you can see here, the Bagani. Bagani is a warrior, the successor of the Dato. If the Dato died, the successor become the next to him is the Bagani. In other words, in our community, it is very patriarchal, man-dominated. Okay, we call this one the Suyam. As you can see here, the Suyam, if you're going to look, there is a narrative. It has plenty of symbolism about nature, about culture, 
about their ways of life. Okay, as you can see here, the you can see the accessories from head to toe. There are plenty of beads. Before the beads, this is made of gold. When the Chinese king, a trader, came to our land, we used now the ceramics beads made in China. Okay, as you can see, there are the um, the beads. The beads are uh, the the tattoo before the pattern of the waving embroidery. It become a suyang. Okay, as you can see, this is my painting. If you have time, you can visit our art exhibit at the South in Agusan Province, Philippines, where there is a social level and vacation for power. Some symbols, prestige, beauty, and charm. The dress plays an ergonomic function from womb to tomb. Okay, if you have plenty of accessories from head to toe, you have plenty of embroidery, you consider us the most beautiful, the most powerful. In other words, this is a prestige. Um, as you can see here, when the child is born, they're going to wrap the suyang cloth to the baby, and then when they die, they're going to wear the suyang dress. In other words, our suyang is this a cycle of life, from birth to death, from womb to tomb. Okay, as you can see here, the umpak. Umpak is the upper garment. Usually, it is plenty of tattoo. The tattoo, and then it becomes a design of the dress. It is an embroidery. In other words, suya means the art of embroidery, the upper garment. On the lower garment, as you can see, my short. You can there are plenty of uh, design, especially the embroidery created by the woman. In other words, upper garment and then the lower garment. Especially for the lower garment, this kind of dress usually used by the farmer. They're going to wear shirt. They're not going to wear the long pants. It is uncomfortable. Okay? For the woman, they're going to use here the umpak, the upper um, dress. Sometimes it is shorter. And we have a long sleeve. This is the upper garment. Try to observe the color. The color, it has a symbol at the same time meaning. Okay? The sada means is the, uh, the, the lower garment. Sometimes it looks like a malo. The skirt. Okay, so you can see there are plenty of design, especially the designs inspired from nature, from their ways of life. As you can see, this is not meant to appreciate, but it is easy for us to understand at the same time read the pattern. In the word, our design is very symbolic, at the same time cosmic. Okay, as you can see my drawing, you know what during my masters, I told my masters. Uh, uh, advisor man, I'm not a writer, but I am a painter. That's why it's easy for me to understand if I'm going to draw. As an insider, I'm not an outsider because my father was a dato, while my mother is a Visaya Christian. That's why I, I wrote here the chronological. The upper class is the Haudun, the dato. They are, uh, we call this one, um, the population is too small. Next to them is the Bae, we call this one the the white of the dato, and the other one is bailan. The bailan means uh, they are the healer. At the same time, the bailan can be considered as a man. At the same time, a woman. On the middle, we call this one the bagani. Bagani means, I told you, is a warrior. They're going to re wear red color, symbol, uh, symbol of uh, fear. At the same time, blood. While on the lower gland, uh, the, lower, the lower circle, you can see here a huge population of Alipin. When you say Alipin means uh, they are peasants, they are farmer, or they are slaves. Okay, thank you. Okay, this is my drawing about the, the Manubu um, Haudun. But uh, in history, we're not going to use Dato. Because Dato, um, from my understanding, this uh, came from different uh, tribe, but we're going to use Haudun. Haudun means you have the authority. And then we have also here the Mungu Manigaon. They are the council of elders. As you can see my drawing, there are lots of embroidery, pattern, motif, especially the accessories from head to toe. As you can see here, uh, in London, especially the queen, they're going to wear the crown. But for us, we're going to wear here the tibam. Tibang symbolizes as the higher that you have the power, that you are 
we have an authority. As you can see here, I have here a T-bank by my father. It looks like a triangle. The purpose of this, it looks like a cobra. Because cobra for us is the second um, GDS animals next to crocodile. As you can see my T-bank here, you cannot see a bell. Because if I have bells here, it reminds that I kill a human person or I kill endangered animals. That's why I am good. <laughs> you can see the, the, bells. the bells. If I have plenty of bells, that means marami na ako napatay. But for now, I'm still good. Okay. <laughs> Next to the howdon, please. Okay, we have here the body. As you can see here, the body, the, the accessories, the, the, the color, most of them are going to wear white, the symbol of purity. And then they're going to wear also red, the symbol of love. Next to the dato or the howdon is the body. Observe the accessories. Observe the aesthetics. Before, you have the last of accessories and suyem. But now, um, you can count some of the design, please. Can we call this one Bailan? Bailan, uh, May. They're going to use here the Palaspas. You know what the text here, uh, this is not a Bisaya, this is not in English. It is a, uh, it is a Manobo. Uh, some of our language in Manobo and uh, Manobo, it is vanishing anymore. That's why you can see here the Bailan male. Next, please. The Bailan female. They are the, the healer. At the same time, the fortune healer. As you can see here, the Bailan, they're going to wear the beads. We call this one the belt beads. Before, this is made of gold, but now, just like our art and culture, it keeps on changing. As you can see. Okay, you can see the, the clean thing. Next to the Bailan, the Bailan, we have here the Bagani. Bagani is the, the warrior, especially uh, a male, a protector. You can see here the, the accessories, the, the beads from head to toe, and then the weapon. And especially for the Bagani, they're going to wear red. Red is the symbol of a fighting blood. At the same time, they are very aggressive. Okay, next to the Bagani, we have here the, the slave. For the slaves, they're going to wear yellow. Why yellow? Because... In our um, culture, yellow is the lower class because majority of the slaves, they are into farming. They're exposed to the sun. In other words, yellow is not good. But for us, white and red, this is a symbol of loyalty and majesty. Next to the slave, uh, slave woman, try to observe the accessories little by little. While the, the howdun, you can see all the designs are maximalism. Well, here, a little bit minimalism. Less is more. <laughs> <laughs> you can see here the, the yukos, a child, boy. Sometimes they have no dress. They are naked. And the other one, the buhi. As you can see here, my drawing, it's easy for me to understand because as I told you, it's easy for me to draw them to write. That's why I, I wrote the six, uh, 60,000 words and then I, I, I translate this one in 300 um, words and I give it to you in English translation. In English? Yes, in English. Okay, next we'll, please. We'll put it in the library for anyone interested. Okay, thank you. As you can see my drawing here, textile art are connects what is symbolic, organic, and cosmic. Women weavers are the creator of such enduring artworks, especially the Suyam. Whose and glories of the Manubos are interwoven with the sense of each fabric, each design, motif and pattern has its own unique meaning. To make the long story short, that the suya is the expression. Suyam is the, the, our second dress. Suyam is our second skin. While the tattoo can be considered as our human canvas. Okay, I have here, I gathered 61 designs of suyam. I put here the drawing, the design. What is the meaning of that design? What is the title of this drawing? And then the description. What kind of materials? Can you see this one in the dress? In a gold? When the carving? And then what is the symbolism of this drawing? Okay, uh, we have here the binao means a turtle. While the binaki, we call this one frog or the palaka. Binakusan, we call this one the sawa because there are plenty of snakes 
in the community of the Manubo. Bino Aja means we call this one the crocodile. You shall remember the largest and the biggest crocodile in the world can be found in Agusan del Sor in our province. See si Lolo and his wife, we call it Lala. <laughs> and then we have here the Dina Dragon, the dragon can be found in the, what you call this one? The, um, the gold. And then the guinea bang, we call this one the lizard, the bayawa. Next to the drawing, please. Okay, so you can see here, some of theirs are geometric, biomorphic. You can see here the, the fish. And then we have here the, the, the eagle. As you can see, this one, this is the, the symbolism of the butterfly, metamorphosis. Minaluk manuk, this is the birds. And then we have here sinalapitsipit, we call this one the scorpion. The meaning, the drawing, it's easy to see the visual at the same time textual. And then some of the tinuko, can you find this one on the tattoo? Toko, serve as time. Okay, as you can see the binawi, this is the, the panda or the lower garment. The binujo, it looks like a, a, a heart design, a diamond design. And then we have here the triangle, and then the XX inspired from the embroidery. And then we have here the bawi, we call this one the square design. Okay, we have here the mandala. Next to this is what we call this one the, 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 the circle. We have the four design. We have here, it looks like a jetiplex, uh, pinaluhod, the triangle design, the slab design. And then lastly, we have here the, the baging. Next, please. Okay, as you can see more on the Apram agriculture, we have here the uh, start from the kawayan, uh, leaves, and then a palm. And then we have here the flower, the kamag seed during plant. And then we have here the pako, it looks like a fern design because um, it looks like an okir or okir design. And then the most famous of all design is the tinampuso. Tinampuso means if you're going to combine the three um, we call this one fruits of the banana. This is the symbols of community. Please. As you can see, we have here uh, the symbols of what we call this one, the trees. And then the famous Balanghai Hanipan in Butuan City. And then the Ginoo, this is the, the paddle. It, is, it looks like pointed because um, if there is a crocodile, it's easy for you to kill. That's why it's pointed. And then the Binokyad. The dinugso, miandala, miandala or mandala, sometimes it's a circle, sometimes of the square because majority of the textiles are very uh, geometric at the same time rectilinear design. The kinyasag means this is a shell, then some of the tattoo can be found here and this one. We call this one the patik or the pangutog. Okay, the shell. And then we have also here the star. The accessories, that's like the comb. The symbols of the Diwata Diti, and then some of the uh, Manubo are Christian, some of them are Luma, that's why you can see the cross. And then we call this one the clouds. I researched this one from the community. It's easy for me to draw than to write, please. Okay, this is now the, the wave, especially on the wave from the seas, wave from the lake or the river. This is the symbols of, we call this one a mountain. This is the symbol of agriculture. And then it looks like a lingo design. And then we have here the symbol of rainfall. Next, please. Okay, um, as you can see. Five minutes. Oh, yeah, okay. Go on. Okay, <laughs> I draw this one last two years. I've been to Chicago, Illinois. I've seen the real drawing or illustration of the famous Golden Tower of Agusan. This is the symbolism of Akimbo. That's why you have the authority. Okay, the Golden Tower Bagusan. Well, here we call this one the Silolong. This is the design of Lolo from embroidery. Okay, this is the Tinampuso, a community, embroidery. And the other one, the famous Abinutoon, the most very common, next. Okay, we call this one the two of three can be found in Agusan del Sur, Agusan del Norte, lots of minerals. This is the Binawood waves. You can see the waves. The Agusan River and Sinalapitsipit, this is the scorpion. The design, the kamaksi, next to this is the kamaksi, the flower. During plant, you can see plenty of small white flowers. The kamaksi, okay. The Manabu women's technical expertise of using indigenous tradition and textile formation, the art of decorating fabric is a remarkable tradition that has been learned from generation to generation. 
the convergence of techniques, style, culture, and tradition in embroidery, pattern, and dress, emphasize women's creativity and skills in showcasing the rich of Manubo tradition. Next, please. As you can see, this is the, the backstrap loom. And then we have here the pedal loom. They're going to use uh, abaca. This is my drawing illustration. The first class of abaca, we call this one abaca. Oh, this one? We call this one escogida, the first class. And the second class, segunda, um. the middle class. The dark, not good, mediocre quality, baraba. Okay, next. As you see, this is more on the textile center and the reviews organic or synthetic coloring. Okay, as you can see here, it has a flat note that means you are a royal. The go use here the tattoo and then the accessories made of bones. And then we have here, you know what, in Bisa in Mindan, especially in Butuan, we have lots of gold accessories. And then we have here the metal and then we have here the organic. As you can see, we have here the bill for the accessories. This is the Miandala, sometimes it is a square, sometimes it's a circle. Okay, as you can see here, on the right side, this is more on traditional, and here, mostly the Visayas are more on innovation. And then they do the, the chanting, especially for making the suyang. As you can see here, majority of the design here is more on computer generated. This is computer generated, that's why you can see the, the design here on this side. Okay, next please. Okay, this is the, the umpak. Uh, this is made of self screen photography. It is instant design. This is the lower made of self screen photography. You know what? This is the, the dress of the bailan. Because of climate change, they wear their sleeveless. <laughs> Imagine the bailan wearing it. It looks like a seductive. <laughs> Next, please. Okay, this is the lower garment. This is a photographic. This is a self screen serigraph. Next. Okay, for the slaves, they're going to wear yellow. Yellow is not good for us in the lower class because it symbolizes about sunlight. The lower, the lower this uh, garden. And then for the abaca, remember, they have less decoration. There's the ornamentation. There's no aesthetic anymore. A little bit ugly. Next. Well, because of the, because of the souvenirs, because of the tourists, they're going to wear, they're going to buy t shirt with the design of Tinampuso. Next, please. Okay, you know what, my, my, my cousin, she joined the Binibini Pilipinas, and then look at the design of the Manubo. Naging innovation na siya, naging fashionable, and you can see here the design of Tinampuso, the Tido of, so on and so forth. Okay, but for now, because of um, commercialism, uh, commercialism, uh, commercialization, colonization, you can see now the design sometimes made of mannequin. Okay, next. Okay. Okay, this is my, my drawing. As you can see, the accessories, look at this one. It is a circle, this is for women. But it is pointed and rectangular, this is for men. Well, this one, when my father died, he gave me this kind of bell. The symbol of this is to drive away bad spirit. But honestly, we use bell because of the sound, the, the, the white animal did can stay. Okay, we got this one, the bells. To make the long story short, and I, aside from giving the conclusion, I'm going to sing us to you a chanting. <laughs> the song is about a uh, ritual ng babaylan. I'm going to sing a Manubo chant and then a Filipino, so that in order for you to understand.
Panginoon, Panginoon, Uapuan. Any questions? <laughs> They have also a tinalak in Tiboli. But for us, we have tinalak at the same time, um, more on a uh, silk screen. we have no similar process from the Tibili. From my understanding, you know what, in Tibili, I don't believe in the dream weaver. Because uh, if you're going to dream, and then you're going to wake up early in the morning, you forgot all your dreams. How can you draw? How can you wave? That's my understanding. But for us, um, this is it's real. If you're going to make a design, you can, you're going to make a not from a dream. You're going to get the inspiration from the nature at the same time from the organic resources. This is uh, a contemporary ritual, a combination of the, the Filipino uh, ritual and then the Manubo. We call this one the Tudom chanting. Tudom is it's a chanting. It's a sacred chanting from the Manubo. In order for, for, to, for you to understand, I sing it in Filipino, not in English. <laughs> That's my drawing. <laughs> With intellectual property rights. <laughs> Anten thing for is it the agimat or the lucky charm? Um, for us, it's anting anting. If you want in English, we call this one the agimat or the the. I sorry. In English. Uh, the amulet. Yeah, we call it amulet. But it's anting anting. Anting anting in Manobo and Visayas. More question, please. <laughs> Yes. Tagangayo. Um, is there are there designs there that are specifically for the leadership for the Dantu or the Yes, especially the Tinampuso. You can see the Tinampuso here. This is the symbols of um, community and the symbol of the the Haudon or the the Dato. They have also a, a minimal tinampuso design. So Especially you can see the head from the head up to two design. So when you see someone wearing uh, the tinampuso here, yes. the dato. Tadato. Uh -huh. If you cannot see the dot, uh, the design tinampuso, that means they are slave. They are farmers or they are we call this one the low class. So there, is a there is an hierarchy. In the Manubo, yes. The more if you have plenty of tinampuso, the more that you have plenty of uh, suyam and accessories, you are the upper class. The more if less uh, decoration, less accessories, you are the lower class. In the Agusan? In the Agusan, especially in Northeast Mindanao, in the Caraga region. My, 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 my illustration here, as the, I am a Manubo, I'm not an outsider, but I am an insider. Sometimes when I read some of the, 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 the book and the, the thesis, sometimes a little bit exaggerated, parang sinisensionalized na. But me as a Manubo, I wrote my own um, thesis at the same time, our story. Thank you. Thank you so much. So the, the thesis you're giving us, we'll have the drawings and stuff? If you want. Ha, 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 ha,